Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to set up a sensor that is HP203B. In the previous videos, we have seen working on the different digital sensors. So similarly, we will be proceeding further this momentum and we will be working on new sensor that is HP203B. So for that, first of all, go to the website that is controleverything.com and here search for this sensor. And let's see what we got. So HP203B is a precision barometer and altimeter sensor and these are some of its features as you can see. You can purchase this sensor as you can see on my screen. Well, I will be interfacing this sensor HP203B with a Raspberry Pi and for that I require a Java code. So for the Java code, let's go to resource tab and here comes the Java code. You can have the Java code from this website and you can download as a zip file from here. You can also get the code from github.com and you search for the repository that is control everything community. You can download it from there also. Now what we require is some hardware for which we made connections and then we will proceed further. Now first of all we require our sensor that is HP203B a digital barometer and altimeter sensor which we are going to be setting up today. In addition to this we need a Raspberry Pi. Now to provide the solution of connection among the sensor and the Pi and to further make it easy for other I2C devices we need an I2C shield which is available on the website controleverything.com. Now make the connection and gently place the I2C shield over the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi. Now to make a connection among the sensor and the shield we need the binding factor that is a connecting cable. Make the connection of the sensor and the cable with a rule that brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly this suit has to be followed for the I2C shield also. So it's look like this. Next we need to power up the Pi and come some micro USB cable into the picture. Insert it up in the power jack. Now to connect the Raspberry Pi, the setup for the internet, there are two ways. First it's an ethernet cable you are able to see on my screen and in case if it's not available, don't worry, a wireless nano USB adapter might come in handy. It might save your day also. Now place the ethernet cable over the internet jack and you can place the adapter over the Wi-Fi adapter over the USB port. Now this is the setup we require for our video tutorial. Now the connection has been set up and completed. So let's proceed further and see what's the code. Now we have seen the implementation of the connections part for the hardware require. Let's have a look over the Java code. We will try to interface with our sensor. For that, log into github.com and now here control everything community is what we need and it's the official repository for control everything.com. Go it and here is our required sensor HP203P. This is the Java code we are looking forward. Let's have a look over the instructions first. We have to download and install the Pi4J library on the Raspberry Pi. And this link, pi4j.com. Let's open it up for further clarification. This is a link from where you can have the Pi4J library installed on your workstation or computer. And all the relevant information is being provided here like this. Similarly like this as you go on. Now, please do it carefully. Next. Uh, this is the command to compile the Java code and this is to run the Java code. Note it now. Get back to the Java code as it's a dot Java extension file. First of all, we have imported some of the required libraries and the functionalities will be coming along with them. Now we have created a public class named HP203B. Next we have bus.cat device and the address of the sensor that is 0x76. Now the writing section comes. First of all, we have sent the OSR and the channel setting command and the writing section is here. Next, we have read 6 bytes of data as you can see, temperature and pressure. Now, we are getting a new reading here. It pulls a new data which we can process and see the other values. Now, here comes the conversion part for the temperature and the pressure values. Similarly, in the second section, we have sent OSR and the channel setting command and the command for write is here 
we have read three bytes of altitude data as you can see similarly we have been getting different values for the data and the conversion part for the altitude is here and it is similarly according to the formulas which we have seen in the data sheet for HP203B. Now at the very end of our code we have the output data on the screen and it's perfectly formatted to two places of float value altitude in meters, pressure in Pascal, temperature in Celsius and temperature again in Fahrenheit scales. So this is how a code, uh, Java code is generalized and being implemented. Now let's have a look over its working. Now here comes the interesting part for this video and that's the working section. So copy this entire Java code and open up the Raspberry terminal and here create a new file as you can see on my screen and paste the entire code and save it. Now this is the command to compile the code as you can see on my screen and the code is being compiled. It might take a while. So it's done now this is the command to run the code and here are we with the altitude pressure and temperature values now again run the command you can see the values now when I apply some pressure over the sensor and run the command you can see the change in altitude pressure and temperature now again doing that there's a change again in altitude temperature and pressure so this is how the Java code works with the sensor. Now let's have a look over the features, the applications and the reason why we use this particular sensor. We have seen the working of the sensor, the code and a lot more for the sensor HP203B. The HP203B employs a MEMS pressure sensor with an I2C interface to provide accurate temperature, pressure or altitude data. The sensor pressure and temperature outputs are digitized by a high resolution 24 bit ADC. The altitude value is calculated by a specific p tainted algorithm according to the pressure and temperature data. Now these are the features. Due to this it's viable for a lot of applications like mobile altimeter barometer, industrial pressure and temperature sensor systems, weather station equipment, indoor navigation and nap assist and a lot more. You can purchase this sensor from the website controleverything.com and you can get the relevant code by going to the resource tab and then downloading it. Now you can also get the code from the GitHub repository that is Control Everything Community. Now I have shown you the working explanation, hardware connections and a lot in this video tutorial. In case if you have any doubts and queries you can contact me on controleverything.com and be sure to post your comments on the community page. Now for blogs and articles, you can check me on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, go to our YouTube channel. At the very end, I hope you found this video useful and yourself a good one. Enjoy yourself. Thanks for watching.